When a satellite image of the South Pole was first released, no one gave it much thought. But soon after, a different image emerged, sparking curiosity. What if I told you that people across every continent and culture have believed the Earth is hollow? And what if I told you that in June 2014, scientists discovered something inside the Earth that could change everything? They found not just one lake, but enough water to surpass all the oceans of the world combined three times over. You'd probably want to know more about the hollow earth theory. Well, let's dive into these three most prominent hypotheses theories. Now do it. Now do it? Uh-huh. The first theory is Agartha. You've definitely come across the concept of the hollow earth theory, but let me clarify. It suggests that we live on a shell surrounding an inner earth. Admiral Richard Byrd, a highly regarded American naval officer and polar explorer, plays a key role in this theory. He was a significant figure in the US, known not only for his naval service, but also for his expertise in organizing polar logistics and navigation. Byrd's distinguished career earned him both the Medal of Honor, the highest military award, and the Navy Cross the second highest award for valor. Bird, who discovered Antarctica's largest volcano, Mount Sidley. The story begins with the intriguing revelation that after Admiral Richard Bird's passing, his stepson stumbled upon his journals. According to these journals, in 1947, Bird embarked on an expedition that led him and his fellow explorers to what he referred to as the center of the unknown in the Antarctic. To their surprise, the icy terrain transformed into a breathtaking landscape of verdant grass, where Bird claimed to have witnessed a woolly mammoth grazing. The plot thickens as Bird reported that while flying over this tropical-like expanse, their aircraft was intercepted by two peculiar flying machines, which guided them towards a gaping fissure in the Earth's surface. Allegedly, Bird descended into the hollow Earth and stumbled upon Agartha, an ancient legend turned reality. Here, he claimed to have encountered an advanced civilization boasting high-speed trains, futuristic vehicles, and colossal crystal structures overseen by superhuman beings. Adding to the enigma, he was greeted by two towering individuals with lustrous blonde hair who escorted him to meet a dignitary, expressing profound disappointment in humanity's treatment of the planet. If you're skeptical about the integrity of this account, you're not alone. At the foundation of Bird's claims lies the reinforcement garnered from similar reports by others. For instance, in 1811, Norwegian sailor Olaf Janssen recounted an experience of sailing into an underwater entrance and discovering a concealed Atlantis beneath the Earth's surface. Similarly, in 1943, sailor Carl Anger claimed to have traversed through an underwater passage to a forgotten civilization on a location known as Rainbow Island. Moreover, recent drone footage from Antarctica has captured intriguing features such as a statue resembling a human face amidst the mountains, and also this. Adding to the mystery, just 10 years after Byrd's claims, countries around the world signed the Antarctic Treaty in 1957, agreeing to curb exploration of Antarctica. Byrd himself was said to have been silenced when he began sharing his stories about Agartha. The next theory is the Hollow Earth Theory, the hollow earth theory posits that the interior of our planet contains an underground realm, or underworld, a concept embraced by various cultures and belief systems across the globe. For example, in ancient Babylonian beliefs, there was a notion of a hollow earth housing a dark cavern called Kur, inhabited by dragons. The Japanese Shinto religion describes a void space called Yomi, regarded as the gathering place of all departed souls. Meanwhile, Hindu tradition speaks of Patala Loka, an underworld inhabited by malevolent entities located beneath the Earth's surface. Similarly, the ancient Mayans held beliefs in Sibalba, described as a realm of terror and the realm of the deceased. In Chinese beliefs, there is the concept of Du Yu, a place within the Earth where souls are sent to atone for their wrongdoings. Adding to this diversity of perspectives, certain Christian beliefs propose that the interior of the Earth is the location of Hades or Sheol, described in the Bible as a dwelling place for departed spirits. This is in reference to the idea that before the advent of Jesus Christ, individuals only had sacrificial rites and a limited understanding of the afterlife, 
potentially explaining why figures such as Abraham from the Old Testament did not ascend directly to heaven. Christian interpretations also suggest Hades or Sheol might be beneath us. Jesus' parable in Luke 16 describes Hades as divided into two sections, one of comfort and one of anguish. Some Christians believe that after Christ's death, he descended into Hades to rescue Old Testament saints. The Apostles' Creed also mentions Christ descending into the lower parts of the earth. Finally, the third theory is the idea of a scientifically plausible hollow earth. In 1692, the esteemed scientist Edmund Halley put forward a theory suggesting that Earth's crust was approximately 500 miles thick and contained multiple concentric shells with spaces between them that could potentially harbor life. Building on Halley's work, mathematician Leonard Euler expanded the theory, proposing that the center of this hollow Earth housed an inner sun that stretched 600 miles. Euler postulated that one could potentially enter the hollow Earth through the polar regions and he also expressed skepticism about the authenticity of satellite images showing the polar areas. Enthusiasts have gone a step further, producing detailed maps envisioning what a hollow Earth might resemble. These maps indicate potential entrances to this inner world at well-known sites such as the Pyramids of Giza, King Solomon's Mines, and Mammoth Cave in Kentucky. Building upon Halley's concepts, some interpretations combine them with Nikola Tesla's ideas about free wireless electricity suggesting that the Earth's magnetic fields fuel an imperceptible grid within the Earth's crust. According to this viewpoint, the grid comprises 120 identical triangles. Additionally, proponents claim that the coordinates of the Pyramids of Giza align with the speed of light and the belt of Orion. Furthermore, they believe that locations like the Bermuda Triangle, Stonehenge, and Easter Island are connected by ley lines straight lines representing focal points on this global energy grid. So, which of these theories is false? The story of Admiral Byrd discovering Agartha is widely regarded as fabricated. There's no evidence his journals contain such accounts, and these tales have been popularized through internet myths. As for the other theories, they each have varying degrees of historical and cultural support. Ultimately, while these hollow earth theories spark curiosity and encourage exploration, they highlight the need for critical thinking and evidence-based science. Their allure reflects our desire for discovery, but without solid evidence, they remain speculative fiction and myth. As we explore our planet's mysteries, we must balance curiosity with scientific rigor, grounding our pursuit of knowledge and reality while remaining open to future revelations. That wraps up our video. Share your thoughts in the comments section. We'd love to hear from you. Support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing to stay updated and help our channel grow. Thanks for watching.